Hey guys, it's Victor Gimme Flick Man here with a community and domestic violence video. Uh, yesterday, if, if, if you don't know about this uh, big drama, uh, Canada Gin 3 uh, uploaded a video of herself, uh, basically a black video, I mean, as in not black people, but <laughs> the, the screen is actually black. And she's being abused um, by her ex-boyfriend. I don't know all the specifics and um, I, haven't, I haven't talked to her. Apparently she's much better now, she's okay. She's in a different place now. But, I, you know, she uploaded the video, YouTube took it down, which is standard practice. Uh, YouTube will take down videos of um, people who claim they are being abused or going to commit suicide, and they suggest you contact the police, which I, I agree with. In the past, uh, I've dealt with uh, YouTube with this way back in the past when YouTube actually had people working for them that would answer your um, emails and phone calls. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Canon Gen 3 is much better, so that's, that's the first thing out of the way. Now, I, re I got the email, I got an email from a couple of people yesterday, and a phone call yesterday from people, uh, you know, asking me to support and help, but, you know, my hands are pretty much tied. I live, uh, although I am a lifeguard, no, I live in, I live in Nagoya, uh, about five hours drive from Tokyo, so there's not, and I think she lives in Tokyo, I'm not even sure where she lives, but I'm pretty sure it's Tokyo. Um, so there wasn't much I could do anyway. Uh, so that was frustrating, you know, to get those phone calls and, <laughs> and emails because like, what am I supposed to do? You know, I'm enjoying, I'm driving around, you know, N Nagoya area, enjoying my Sunday and I can't do anything. And, and Canada Gene 3 has my phone number. So, you know, if you're watching, you know, you could have called and I know you know lots of other people. Um, now I'm not sure why she put up that video. I'm not sure uh, how helpful that was. Maybe, maybe it's for evidence. Uh, I talked to another YouTuber and she suggested that she just wanted to know that people supported her. And of course, you know, I guess um, it seemed like a no brainer for me. Of course we support you. You know, I'm, I'm the first one out there. I would be, you know, you've seen, you guys have seen me in videos. I'm the, I'm, I'm the first one to jump out. Of the, I'm the first one out of the gate to jump out and, um, and uh, stop people from abusing other people. Especially um, someone who's getting their ass kicked, right? I've done it before. So that's not really a question. And I've never, uh, I've never hit a woman, except in my sleep, as my wife reminds me, you know, occasionally. I say, I never, I never hit you, honey, you know? And she's like, no, you hit me in the... See, I was talking to this other YouTuber, and she's like, um, she was also a victim, and she said her family didn't believe her, so that might be another reason she put up the video, to kind of, to show her family, not, not even maybe for the police, but so her family would, uh, would believe that this actually happened, and that nice guy who is her husband, or ex-boyfriend, or boyfriend, or whatever... Um, actually did it and I said you know I thought I was thinking about that and I asked my wife I said you know Yoko do you think your parents would believe it if I if you told them I hit you and they said no because you know we have a very good relationship and I'm always over there and playing with the kids and stuff and so yeah they would never believe I'm capable of such a thing so I kind of joked I said oh so I could basically you know I so if I punch you your parents would never believe you right <laughs> of course my, my wife would leave me um and that's not a, a, a that's not a joke you should uh, usually make. But you know, with my wife, you can you guys can forgive me. And she's like, "You have hit me." I'm like, when did I, when did I hit you? And she's like, "That time when I was you were sleeping." I'm like, "That doesn't count." <laughs> but um, completely all, completely irrelevant um, side note anecdote there. But anyway, back to the story. So Canada Jean is in this situation. She's getting beat up. She wakes up. She's getting beat up. Uh, she puts up a video, which to a lot of people might seem like, "Hey, if you got all that, you know, if you've got the time." the yo-yo to put up a video shouldn't you like be doing something and uh, yeah i mean that's that's one way to, to think about it you could say yeah you know shouldn't you be getting out of there instead of putting up a video shouldn't be call you calling friends or calling the police instead of putting up a video but again it's not just putting up a video it's showing people what is actually happening and and showing to your friends and family um the situation you're in and it's a call for support so so the, the emails i got were like help her and support her i cannot help her because uh I'm physically una unable to help her. I'm too far away. Though if I were in the room, you know, that guy would have gotten a knuckle sandwich for me. A little. Do they still say knuckle sandwich? <laughs> I don't think so. But I can't support her. So I can't say, you know, um, Canada Jin, I'm, I'm glad you're in, not in that situation anymore. Uh, in the future, now I know that you were, you were under the stress of actual abuse at the moment, but I, I, I remember the video you said, you have nowhere to go because all your stuff is here. Um, don't everyone do not be attached to your things just get the fuck out I mean for your own self I'm not cursing at you I'm saying I'm to show you urgency of the situation if you are in that situation get the fuck out leave everything behind leave everything just bring take your passport if you if that's what all you have take your passport and your ID or even just your ID and just get out 
uh, don't worry about your computer and your clothes and whatever else you got. Just get the hell out of there and go to the police station. Now, police are um, infamously not very helpful in Japan when it comes to things like this. So, I do have something, and you've, you've probably seen it. It's been at the top of the screen this whole time. It's a domestic line number, and I did a little research. So I, I thought, well, I could do research in Japanese, but that's kind of pointless because anyone who speaks Japanese probably doesn't need that kind of uh, research. Uh, people who do, who, and also if you're in a, in a, if you're a foreigner in Japan and you're in this kind of, kind of situation, you're going to need someone who can understand you in your own language. Um, you're not going to be wanting to deal with uh, language, right? Anyway, um, so this number above. Uh, I, and I just called it to make sure it works is an abuse line and if you listen long enough it'll tell you I think the press number two but the, uh, an English voice comes on a little bit later so if you are in an abusive relationship or if you know someone who is in an abusive relationship or just in case jot this phone number down because you never know when it might be useful not just for you but for friends or people who are in a, in a situation it's for um, it's for Japanese and it says Nihongo ga wakaranai hito or gaikokujin. So people who don't understand Japanese. So I assume they might have other languages uh, available there. I didn't actually go all the way through because I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna call and say I'm just checking the guy to make sure to ask what languages you speak. Um, but if you're watching this video, obviously you at least speak English, and that should be enough for this hotline. So that's all I really got for you uh, on this. Um, anyway, uh, take care of your loved ones. Uh, yeah, don't don't guys. There's no reason ever to hit anyone. You know, really. Um, yeah. So, oh, and one, one last note about this, and I'll put the link up here. Apparently, um, cases of abuse uh, have risen in Japan dramatically. Domestic, this was published last year, domestic violence uh, cases reported in Japan increased by 46%. That's 2012, but this does not mean that domestic violence is actually up. It just means more cases are being reported, which may mean that uh, numbers like this that are available to the public are getting out there. And people are finding a way to reach out and get help, which is a good thing. So, um, so you know, don't don't when you look at those reports about cases, you know, re reported cases are up doesn't actually mean that the number of cases are up. It just means the reports are up, which is good because people are getting help. At least that's that's looking at the bright side of the the the, the bright side of the argument. Anyway. Uh, I know there was a better idiom for that, but I can't remember it now. And I got to go, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.